Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Buenas tardes, señores y señores. Buena tarde, señores y se señoras y señores. My name is Daniele. I come from Italy, and I'm currently working at Universitat Pompeu Fabra as a researcher or junior economist. First of all, I'd like to thank Barcelona DSC faculties and members of the staff for today's invitation. I'm very grateful to be here today to give this short speech in quality of alumnus. Indeed, I graduated in 2016 in economics of public policy. And also uh, in quality of um, representant of the alumni community of BGC in Barcelona, together with two friends, Ilaria and Thomas. Before getting started, I just want to say that uh, my speech is going to overlap with the one of Mr. Faula and with some words of uh, Professor Marimon, uh, but I swear we didn't copy each other. Uh, I was supposed to stand here today together with my brother Roberto, who studied at BGSC before me, but he couldn't get away from his job. He sends his congratulations to you. Uh, to honor his absence today, I'm going to talk about how important it is to find inspiration in someone and being supported by these people. I will talk about two qualities I developed thanks to my brother that I find extremely pertinent in, the, in this context. You know, Roberto, as an older brother, has been my role model throughout my life, uh, and I'm very, very uh, lucky, and I feel very lucky about this, and he knows how grateful I am to, to him. The first quality is determination. Determination is the process of establishing something exactly. Of course, in a highly dynamic environment, such as the world of higher education or the job market, uh, it is very difficult to decide upon something with absolute firmness. It would mean being able to set the rules of the game in every circumstance, which is extremely difficult. The kind of determination I'm referring to is our own ability of screening alternatives and fixing priorities in a rational way, and then keeping the tension constant on the final objective. Is having the ambition to achieve a goal, the ability of rolling up your sleeves and work hard. This is connected with the second virtue, which is persistence. Persistence is the fact of continuing in a course of action in spite of difficulty or opposition. I remember a text message I got from him the night before I started a master at BGC. He was using the analogy of a marathon to explain me once more that there are achievements in life that can be obtained by keeping a steady pace. He made me aware about how challenging were going to be problem sets and lectures. How difficult was going to be sitting down all day studying. He invited me to think about my own path without getting frustrated over other people. He stressed out the importance of preserving the right attitude no matter the task I was working on. In July 2016, I successfully completed the master program in economics of public policy and new challenges were waiting for me already. The knowledge I acquired during the year of master and my set of skills, coupled with the constant support of people who love me, allowed me to face the difficult job market and the difficult job search, and to keep up the right attitude in my day-to-day -day life while working or doing personal activities or hobbies. Looking at you today, sitting down in the chairs I was sitting a couple of years ago, clearly tells me that I'm in front of very talented people. You were all determined when you decided to undertake this year of master, and you were all persistent during the program. Well done. But let me play the role of the older brother just for a minute and tell you that this day is not the end of, of the race. This is just an eighth station where you can eat and drink to keep running at your own pace. The race is still long and full of obstacles, but I'm sure that thanks to your talent, you're going to achieve your life goals. Class 2018, I'm happy to congratulate you on this very important day of your life and to welcome you in the alumni community. 
You prove to be excellent students with wide knowledge and with fundamental abilities needed to overcome such a complex challenge. But try not to forget the important role of the people who inspired you and supported you, especially throughout this year of master. Not to forget those phone calls to your parents, to your brother or sister, to your friends, to your partner in a bad day. The text messages exchanged before or after an exam, all those moments away from the books and from the problem sets that you could enjoy with them. In thanking all of you for your attention, I would like to ask you to stand up and give to the people who are here today and to those who couldn't fly away from home a warm round of applause. Thank you and congratulate. And now, <clears throat> one of you, Catalina Guerrero from the programming competition. Hi, I am a little bit nervous, but I already got my diploma, so nothing can go wrong. Um, I will say some kind of jokes. You can laugh, it would be very helpful. <laughs> so, good evenings, parent, faculty, classmates and friends. My name is Catalina, and for the last year, I have had the pleasure of being a student representative of the Competition and Market Regulation Program. However, today I'm honored to deliver this speech in representation of the GSE Class 2018. First, we would like to thank the families and friends gathered here today. We know that these past 10 months have also been difficult for you. Many times you called to see how we were, and maybe we did not reply your messages. You were worried, wondering if we were eating or sleeping well. Some of you even opened an Instagram account just to see if we were still alive. The good news is that most of those times we did not reply was because we forgot to update the UPF event password. Yes, we ate well, if coffee is considered food. And yes, we got the chance to rest, but only after 3 a.m. when the library closed. And judging by the color of our tan, you can be sure we were studying, not in the beach. We are very grateful because we know it has been hard for you to deal with the distance and exam traumas. We thank you for your support throughout this journey. Also, we would like to take a moment to thank all the GSC staff. Without them, we would not have had the fun we had this year. They made us feel welcome and part of the community. In our lowest moments, they were our companions. They nourished us with paellas and fideuas. They took care of our health and organized a hike and a futsal tournament. Like our friends and family, they worried about our social life and organized a New Year's party near the beach. And also, they introduced us to one of the most famous Catalonian traditions, the calzotada. For some of us, they were our psychologists and helped us choose the right career path or offered calming words. And obviously, we would not be here without the rock stars of the GSE, our professors. We are very grateful for all those times you over explained because you knew that even though we said we understood, our faces said the contrary. And I must admit I was very excited the first time I saw you in the metro or walking home or eating in the cafeteria then they make it so easy to make it short the distance between professors and students. And actually, the learning process was more engaging. Thank you very much. Oh, and you're the coolest people ever. I still remember the first day we arrived at school. The GSE staff had organized an activity for us to meet each other. In one hour, I met the most diverse kind of people I had ever met, from different nationalities and even someone without Facebook. <laughs> it was also then that I realized the unique opportunity I had, first, of living in this amazing city, and then studying in one of the top economic research centers of Europe. However, most important, the opportunity I had to meet so many young minds that now I call my friends, that had the desire and willingness to change the world. At the end of the day, that is what economics is all about, and what economists try to solve, how to allocate in the most efficient way the scarce resources we have. That is why we're studying different specialization, because we want to contribute from distinct approaches. And I do believe now is the perfect moment to study economics. World problems, as all of you have mentioned, are more complex, and solutions need to be more creative, and economic analysis more specialized. 
That's why today we are celebrating the graduation of the Master Programs of Specialized Economic Analysis and of course Data Science. So I talked to some of the student representatives so they told me kind of stuff that happened in your programs and I want to address you. For the students of international trade, finance and development, don't be worried, all of us know what ITFD stand for. And as many of you have told me, you are just a couple of courses away from getting a master's in economics. So maybe you should stay at the other graduation ceremony and ask for your diploma. <laughs> you can have both diplomas. <laughs> to my friends of economics of public policy, you are the group of most dedicated people I have known, always challenging the TA and making such interesting questions. Your presence at Citadela campus was missed in the second term, but at least the macro students were not alone anymore. You know, we know that you didn't miss us that much. You were using your spare time to learn to play cricket and enjoying the Nespresso coffee machine. And I'm sure all of you will reach the stars. Maybe not in all your regressions, but all of you will achieve great things. For the macro students, I'm so sorry for you, because you were suffering with your beautiful gardens and your own story room in Belaterra. We also know that you are very good futsal players. It is a shame that the, you didn't have a chance to play with the professors. I know you could have win. But in consolation, we know how much you play with those fiscal policy models. And probably you also won. Definitely, the trend this program is data science with your own Wi-Fi and classroom. All those days when the Eduram network was down, I envied data science students. But I really admire your ability to understand the world through a quantitative vision. The output of your work is translated into a better way to understand how the economic world works and will help companies, governments, and policymakers to take better and more informed decisions. And last but not least, competition and market regulation. My family for the past months. Not everything in this program was eating the food of the coffee breaks or participating in Instagram contests. Actually, throughout the year, we learned how to shape a more competitive environment, which eventually lead to increasing social welfare. Personally, I feel great responsibility because I had the opportunity to learn from the best professors. Now, it is my chance to turn all these ideas and learnings into practice. And now there is a challenge all of the programs had, and that is it's that English is our second language. But surprisingly, even the native English speakers struggled. But at the end, we made it work, and now all of us can differentiate between the pronunciation of microeconomics and macroeconomics. <laughs> to conclude, I would like to remind everyone that what the GSE represents for the world. In these moments, when many around the world want to build borders, this school is teaching us to break our mental barriers to entry. While that is becoming the most valuable asset, the GSE is teaching us to use it to create welfare and equality. Where many want to see the end of trade and exchange of ideas, the GSE is opening its doors to a flow of brilliant minds all over the world. In these moments where inequality is high on people's minds, the GSE is teaching us to make inclusive policies to promote worth, welfare for all. This is why I am proud to say I am a Barcelona GSE graduate. And in the moment this ceremony finishes, we will be closing a chapter on the GSE history. And we will be opening a new one as alumni. Congratulations, class 2018. We did it.